In instances where the mapping information on Task Force does not match with the actual blocks on the MDF, careful consideration must be taken before jumpering. On an MPF provision, dial tone may or may not be present. If dial tone does not exist at the correct LLUT block, but the LLUT ID matches that on Task Force, jumper the circuit as per task notes. Please add dial tone not present to any COM note on task. Do not under any circumstances be tempted to jump a circuit incorrectly to get them working. Before you begin any provision work, it is vital that you check every aspect of the circuit to ensure that the information you've been given is complete, correct and that the equipment you're going to connect to actually works. Firstly, check that the existing telephone number, if there is one, is on the quoted bar pair on the order. In other words, check that the jumper is correct by listening for a dial tone, then dialing 17070 to identify the calling line identifier, CLI. If it is correct, then you can proceed with jumpering the circuit. If not, you will need to identify where the circuit is routed and check with your control before proceeding. Assuming everything is okay with the information you have, you can run in new jumpers using yellow green jumper wires as with all LLU circuits. Disconnect the existing jumper wires but do not remove them just yet. Then connect the new jumpers. If this circuit now has a dial tone, it will not be from BT. Dialing 17070 at this point may well result in a message, welcome to whoever the CP is, which indicates a connection to the CP. On completion of the jumpering, it is imperative that you test the circuit using a suitable tester, such as the handheld MC2 Plus tester, to confirm DSL sync. There is no need to call the SMC or CMC for a TAM test at this time, provided that the MC2 Plus tester has been used successfully. If you do need to call the SMC or CMC for a TAM test, they will switch the TAM for you so that you have a BT test number available to carry out a ring back test from the bar pair. They will tell you what telephone number has been allocated. This can be tested by carrying out a ring back test. When retesting these circuits after working on them, please use fast test to ascertain whether the circuit is now clear. On completion of your test, the TAM will be restored. Remember, BT test dial tone will only be present whilst the TAM is switched. You may now recover the old disconnected jumpers. The existing routing information will be found in the task notes. Finally, COM the task. To help you, there is the option of printing out a simple circuit diagram for this and a checklist to help you remember a few important items when connecting circuits.